Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Line, line input, line out. You've seen it around, but what is it? Well, in short, it's one of the total of four audio levels. The other three are instrument, microphone, and speaker. Naturally, they each serve a unique purpose, but here's a simple animation to help us understand just how they fall into place with our audio equipment. Starting at the bottom, we see a couple of wavy lines. We can imagine those lines to be the audio signal of our microphone and instrument flowing through a cable. Awesome! Now as we move up to the line level, we notice it's much stronger than the two below. Okay, but why is strength important? Well, if we want to actually hear those sounds, we'll need a strong audio signal. So if you want to hear your mic or instrument, their signal is going to need to be lifted up a bit through a process known as preamplification. But I'm not going to dig deep into that process because this channel really isn't about all that. But before we move up to line level, I will just say that preamplification is typically taken care of by audio interfaces and mixing boards. So now, let's move up to the line level. Once the signal is there, it's now strong enough to be heard through headphones. Great! However, it's not strong enough to be heard through speakers. See, an audio signal at the line level, while strong enough to come through and drive sound through the micro speakers in your headphones, these bigger speakers on the other hand, require much more power to drive the audio signal through and actually be heard. And this is where amplifiers come in. They're here to help you take that line level audio signal and drive it out through your loudspeakers. Now perhaps you're thinking, nope. Not true. My speaker works without an amplifier. I just plug my audio source right in and it's blasting. Well, I've got news for you then. They're hiding a secret from you. That speaker you're thinking of actually does have an amplifier integrated right inside. Ooh. This is what makes them portable and why it's also referred to as a power speaker because the power to amplify is already built in. And that power is likely coming from your wall outlet. Now, if you're wondering about these traditional speakers known as passive and how they don't need to be connected to a power source, yes, they do. But it's all coming from the stereo receiver that they're connected to, which of course has an amplifier. And you know that this stereo amp needs to be plugged in for power to power that amplifier so that it can amplify your line level audio signal out through your now audible speaker. Here's another video you may find interesting. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see the channel grow, like, share and subscribe. And if you really want to contribute, support me through buymeacoffee.com slash simple cafe or here with the super thanks button. See you on the next video and as always, hope you get connected.